The U.S. Supreme Court is allowing the Trump administration to restrict military service by transgender men and women. The justices did not rule on the merits of a lawsuit challenging the ban, but will allow it to move forward while lower courts work through it. Andy Sheehan has details on the policy and what it means for one local military service member who identifies as a man. It unfortunately takes our country in a giant step back. By all appearances, Chance Thomas is a stocky, red-bearded male. But back in the early 2000s, he was a woman, serving in the U.S. military as a naval military police officer. After being honorably discharged, he took hormonal drugs and transitioned to become a man, but believes that being transgender shouldn't prevent him from serving again. If you walked by me on the street, what about me says that I'm trans? Nothing. You look like a male to me. So what does me being trans have anything to do with my merit as a human being? Thomas says the U.S. Supreme Court's decision to temporarily reinstate the Trump administration's ban on transsexuals in the military constitutes discrimination. The administration has argued that transgender create a divisive presence. But Thomas rejects the notion that people like him are a detriment. It's not about troop readiness. It's not about unit cohesion. It's not about hormones. It's not about gender. It's ultimately the Supreme Court just said that it's okay to discriminate against people that aren't like you. Serving from 1999 to 2005, the Navy took Thomas from Guantanamo Bay to Afghanistan to Iraq. And although he identified at the time as a lesbian, he says he served honorably and well, causing no friction with the heterosexual troops. I've always been really tomboyish. So, I mean, as, as far as the military, I, I fit in. I hung out with all the guys. Like, that's just... It's just how it was. Nobody really had a problem with it. And fears that if the ban stands, transsexuals will be discriminated against in all walks of society. What is that going to look like for police departments, fire departments, hospitals, schools? You're saying somebody isn't fit to do a job just because of who they are. Now, the Trump policy allows transgenders already serving in the military to continue, but it bars new recruits and prohibits active soldiers from transitioning. Challenges to the policy are wending their way through the lower courts and will likely reach the Supreme Court for a final ruling on its constitutionality. Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.